Christine Lofstotiv, um, Professor of Anthropology at the University of Iceland. Welcome. Does it make sense to try to understand Iceland with the aid of post-colonial theory? Yeah. Uh, if you look at Iceland, we see a very similar discussion like in the other Nordic countries where there is a strong emphasis on kind of claiming that Iceland doesn't have a colonial past and thus post-colonialism is irrelevant to uh, the Icelandic situation. But of course, uh, if we look at uh, Iceland history, we see that uh, there was a very strong engagement in the 19th and 20th century with racism in the rest of Europe, where Icelandic uh, intellectuals in kind of the nation building uh, referred very strongly to colonial discourse and also to racialization of other populations. At the same time, uh, it is also important to emphasize kind of the duality of the Icelandic colonial experience due to that Iceland was uh, under Danish rule and gained full independence in 1944. And to emphasize that, you know, the colonial position or, or Iceland as a colonial subject is not to equal that experience with the experience of, for example, uh, people in the African continent where we see colonization as so brutal and dehumanizing. We are not kind of uh, saying that this is the same kind of experience. It is quite uh, different. But to understand both uh, racialization of other populations and discussion of Iceland in the present uh, concerning uh, post-colonial issues, it is very interesting or important to maintain that reference point. Because so much of the discussion uh, both in the past and also in the present revolves around this question of belonging within Europe, of kind of uh, the need of Iceland kind of to show other European countries and especially Northern European countries that we are also a very important part of Europe. And in that respect I also want to emphasize that applying post-colonial theory to places like Iceland is not only significant to get kind of more national examples of how post-colonial uh, theories can be used or how colonialism played out in different contexts, but also to aid us to think more about uh, post-colonialism in Europe. And here I'm basing on uh, the emphasis of post-colonial scholars of Europe as a place of ambiguity as a contested concept that has to be constantly reworked. And to understand then what Europe means, we need to do that from different perspectives. And I think we, uh, due to Iceland's kind of sense of marginality, imagined or not, we see a lot of the same discussion being teased out very clearly in the Icelandic context that are also relevant to other places in, in Europe. Thank you. It's, that's a very convincing image of, of mm -hmm. Iceland's relationship to, to post-colonial theory, but is it getting traction? Mm -hmm. How influential is post-colonial scholarship in, in Iceland yeah. today? Uh, when I moved back to Iceland in '98, there was a very little interest in post-colonial theory. Uh, and my impression was that the argument was a little bit, well, we didn't have colonies, uh, Iceland wasn't a Danish colony, post-colonialism really has no relevance in the Icelandic context. But that has changed quite a lot since then. There are both scholars within the humanities and also within the social sciences who base in some part on post-colonialism. I of course wish that there were more, but especially among students there is a lot of interest in applying post-colonial theory and also uh, looking at whiteness in relation to Iceland. You know, very critical studies on trying to detangle what does whiteness mean in the Icelandic context and what does it uh, mean that Iceland is always implied as a white country or a white, you know, place of whiteness. And this is both relevant, of course, when we analyze the past, you know, the nation building in Iceland, uh, but also in relation to the present. 
and here maybe you know referring back to the to the other question the relevance of post-colonial theory i think it is really quite crucial now when iceland has become such an important uh, destination for tourism uh, and the Icelandic government, along with commercial parties, have been very active in nation branding, also to try to detangle uh, the whiteness in these discourses, because I think they do have very much to do with, with this kind of imagination of Iceland as exotic, but still like a white uh, space. Mm -hmm.